Standard 8 Mathematics, Chapter 9, Discount and Commission, Module 1. In this video, we'll study discount. What is discount? And we'll see some examples of discount and solve some sums as well. Let us first understand the definition or what is exactly discount. Let's study this with the help of an example. Mr. Suresh owns a sari shop and the details of sa sales of saris and the profit earned is given in this following table. So let us observe this table. If you see sale in the month of June. Okay, so the cost price of the sari in the month of June was 200 rupees and he sold the saris for 250 rupees. So the profit that he earned on each sari will obviously be selling price minus cost price. So that is 250 minus 200 and that is 50. So profit on each sari is rupees 50. Now in the month of June, he sold in total 40 saris. So the total profit on 40 saris would be 50 into 40, that is 2000. Now look at the second column, that is second row, that is the sale in the month of July. And note one thing that in the month of July, Mr. Suresh gave the discount on the sale of sari. So in the month of July, the cost price of a sari was 200 rupees and the selling price of the sari was 230. So he reduced the price. So he sold it for 230. If you see in the month of June, he sold it for 250. But in the month of July, he gave a discount of 20 rupees. That is, he made the price of the sari less by 20 rupees. And he said that he will sell the sari for rupees 230. Now, profit on each sari would be obviously now selling price minus cost price. That is 30. And since he gave a discount, there were more number of saris sold. So in total, he sold 100 saris in the month of July. So now the total profit here would be 30 into 100, that is 3000. So one thing to note here that when Mr. Suresh gave a discount, he had more sales and he had more profit in that month. So from the above table, it is clear that the discount is given on each sari during the sale in July. The profit on each sari is less, but okay, so if you see profit here on one sari was 30 and here it was 50. So although the profit on one sari was less, he the total sari sold are more and hence his overall profit is much more than the month of June. Each item to be sold has a price tag on it. Now, whenever you go to a shop, each item that is sold will have a price tag on it. The price on that tag is called as a market price of the item. Shopkeeper offers a discount on the marked price. Okay, so this is called as a marked price. And on this marked price, the shopkeeper offers a discount. While selling the object, the actual amount by which he reduces the marked price is called the discount. Hence, selling price of that particular object will be marked price minus discount. Generally, discount is given in terms of percentage. So whenever you go to a shop, the shopkeeper will tell you that if he is giving a discount, he will tell you that suppose there is a 10% discount on this item or 20% discount. So discount is given in terms of percentage. So a 20% discount implies that an item should be sold by reducing the marked price by 20%. That if the marked price of an item is suppose rupees 100, then a discount of 20% on rupees 100 would be rupees 20. So hence the selling price of the item will be 100 minus 20, that is rupees 80. In such transaction, if the discount is X percent, then X upon 100 will be equal to discount upon marked price. This equation, we can just rearrange it in terms of discount. So discount will be equal to marked price into X. So X is the percentage discount divided by 100. 
This formula will help you to find the discount in rupees. Let us see an example sum to understand the concept of discount. Here is an example sum. The marked price of a book is rupees 360. The shopkeeper sold it for rupees 306. How much discount did the shopkeeper give? So let's start with a solution. As it is mentioned, the marked price of the book was rupees 360 and he sold it for rupees 306. So the selling price is rupees 306. Now discount will obviously be selling price minus marked price. So 360 minus 306 will give you rupees 54. So discount in rupees is rupees 54. Now on marked price of rupees 360, the discount is rupees 54. Now if the marked price is rupees 100, we'll say let the discount be X. So now here we can use the formula marked price discount upon marked price is equal to X upon 100. So discount is 54 and marked price is 360 equal to X upon 100. Rearranging this, doing the cross multiplication, we write this in terms of X. So X will be equal to 54 into 100 upon 360. Simplifying and solving this, we get this equal to 15. So we can say 15% discount is given on the book. So from the last example, we have studied two formulas that is the selling price equal to mark price minus discount. And if the percentage of discount is X, then X upon 100 is equal to discount given upon mark price. So we'll do some problems from practice set 9.1, the first one. If the marked price is 1,700 rupees, selling price is 1,540 rupees, we have to find the discount. So we'll find the discount in rupees first. So we'll use a very simple formula. First, we'll write what is given. The marked price is rupees 1,700 and the selling price is rupees 1,540. So we'll use the formula discount, which is equal to marked price minus the selling price. So we know marked price is rupees 1700 minus selling price that is 1540 subtracting this we get rupees 160 so the discount let us do the second question of practice set 9.1 it says if the marked price is rupees 990 and the percentage of discount is 10 that means there is 10 percent discount then find the selling price let us start with the solution 10% discount is given on the marked price. Therefore, if the marked price is rupees 100, then the selling price is rupees 90. Let the selling price be rupees X when the marked price is 990. Now here we will use a simple concept of proportion that says when selling price is X, marked price is 990 equal to when selling price is 90, marked price is 100. So X upon 990 equal to 90 upon 100. And when we do the simple cross multiplication, we'll have X is equal to 90 into 990 upon 100, which after simplification will give you rupees 891. So from here, we can conclude that thus the selling price is rupees 891. Third question of practice set 9.1. If the selling price is rupees 900 and the discount is 20%, then we have to find the marked price. Let us find a solution. 20% discount is given on the marked price. Therefore, if marked price is rupees 100, then the selling price is rupees 80. Now what we'll do is we'll say let the marked price be rupees X when the selling price is rupees 900. Now we'll use a simple formula of proportions that was 900 upon X equal to 80 upon 100. This is a very simple basic proportion formula that we have used. It that says when the selling price is 900, the marked price is X. When the selling price is 80, marked price is 100. Now we'll do simple cross multiplication. So we get here x is equal to 
100 into 900 upon 80. And after simplifying this, we get rupees 1,125. So from here, we can conclude that the marked price or is rupees 1,125. Fourth question says, the marked price of the fan is 3,000 rupees. Shopkeeper gave 12% discount on it. We have to find the total discount and also the selling price of the fan. Let us start with the solution. 12% discount is given on the marked price. Therefore, suppose if the marked price is 100, then the selling price is 88. So, as, so for this to get this 88, we find 12% of 100. That is 12 upon 100 into 100. That will give you rupees 12. And then 100 minus 12 will give you 88. That is how we get the selling price to be rupees 88. Let the selling price be rupees X when the marked price is 3000. Now we'll use the same concept of proportion that says X upon 3000 is equal to 88 upon 100. Solving this to find the value of X, we get 88 into 3000 upon 100. That is 2640 rupees. So the selling price of the fan is rupees 2640. Now we need to find the discount as well. So discount is equal to mark price minus selling price. So mark price is rupees 3000 and selling price we just now found out that is 2640. So 3000 minus 2640 will give you rupees 360. So the discount in rupees is rupees 360. Let us do question 5. The marked price of a mixer is rupees 2300. A customer purchased it for rupees 1955. We have to find the percentage of discount offered to the customer. Let us start with the solution. Marked price of the mixer is rupees 2300. Selling price of the mixer is rupees 1955. We can use the discount formula that is mark price minus selling price to find the discount in rupees. So that will be 2300 minus selling price that is 1955, which will give you rupees 345. Now, on marked price of rupees 2300, the discount is rupees 345. Let the discount be X. Now, if the mark price is 100, then the discount is X. So, this is we are assuming. Now, we'll again use the concept of proportion that says X upon 100 equal to 345 upon 2300. Cross multiplying this, we get X is equal to 345 into 100 upon 2300. After solving and simplifying this, we get this to be 15. So, we can say 15% discount was offered. Hence, the percentage of discount offered to the customer is 15%. Let us do question number 6. A shopkeeper gives 11% discount on a television set. Hence, the cost price of it was rupees 22,250. Then find the marked price of the television set. So this is little bit different. Percentage discount is given and the cost price is given. That means for how much the TV was actually sold. Now they've asked the marked price. That is the price tag on the price tag. What price was written that has to be found out or calculated. Let us start. Let the marked price of the television be rupees X. Discount on the television as given in the question is equal to 11%. Now, if the marked price of the television set was rupees 100, then the customer would have paid rupees 100 minus 11. That is 89 rupees for the set. So this is just an assumption that is done. So if it is 100, then 11% of 100 would be 11. And then you just subtract 100 minus 11 to get 89, which would be the marked price. Now it is given that the cost price of the television is rupees 22,250. So now if the marked price is 89, then the, uh, sorry, if the 
mark price is 100 then the customer would have paid or the cost price is 89 similarly there you can do when the marked price is x the selling prices or the cost price is 22,250. So again, we are using the concept of proportion that says 89 upon 100 is equal to 22,250 upon X. Cross multiplying this and finding the value of X. So we get 25,000. That means the marked price of the television set is rupees 25,000. Thus, the marked price of the television set is 25,000 and after discount, the television set became 22,250. So, if you see, there was 11% discount that was given. Question number 7. After offering discount of 10% on the marked price, a customer gets a total discount of 17 rupees. To find the cost price for the customer, fill in the following boxes with appropriate numbers and complete the activity. So this is a very simple activity that is there in your textbook. So that says, suppose the mark price of the item is equal to 100 rupees. Therefore, for the customer, that item would be, so if you see discount was 10%, so 10% of 100 would be 90, sorry, 10. So what you would do here is 100. So in this block, you would write 100. And in this block, you would write 10. First, let us see the entire question and then we'll eventually fill in the boxes. Hence, when the discount is dash, then the selling price is dash rupees. Suppose when the discount is dash rupees, then the selling price is x rupees. So we have x upon dash is equal to a fraction. Therefore, we have to solve these boxes to find a value of x. Hence, the customer will get the item for Final answer is given, that's 153 rupees, but we have to fill in the boxes in the middle. So here is the answer. Let us one by one, step by step, go through each blocks. So for customer, the item costs 100 minus 10. Why are we doing 10? Because it's 10% 10 discount. So if the mark price is 100 and the sell discount in rupees would be 100 minus 10, that is 90 rupees. Hence, when the discount is 10, the selling price is 90. Now, suppose when the discount is 17, that is given in the question, we have to find the selling price is taken to be X, which has to be found out. So X upon 17 is equal to 90 upon 10. Cross multiplying this, we get X is equal to 90 into 17 upon 10, which gives you 153. Hence, the customer will get the item for 153 rupees. Let us do question number eight. A shopkeeper decides to sell a certain item at a certain price. He tags a price on the item by increasing the decided price by 25%. While selling the item, he offers 20% discount. Find how many more or less percent he gets on the decided price. Let us start with the solution. Let the decided price of the item be rupees 100. Marked price of the item will be 100 plus 25% of 100. Now the reason we are adding 25% of 100 because it is mentioned in the question that the shopkeeper decides to increase the price, marked price of the item by 25%. That is why we are adding 25% of 100 to 100. That is a marked price. So we have 100 and 25% of 100 is 25. So that will be rupees 125. That's 100 plus 25. Now this kind of the item is 20%. So now the marked price is 125 and discount is obviously given on the marked price. So we'll have 20% of 125, which is 20 upon 100 into 125, which is after calculation, you will get this to be rupees 25. Now, selling price of the item will be equal to marked price of the item minus discount on the item. So, marked price is 125 and discount is 25. So, 125 minus 25 is rupees 100. Since the decided price of the item is same as the selling price of the item, so the shopkeeper neither makes any profit nor he makes any loss on selling the item. So, the decided price is 100. He 
increased the marked price by 25%. So the marked price becomes 125. He gave a 20% discount, that is 20 rupees 25. And then the selling price will be 125 minus 25, which is again 100. So the cost price and the marked price and the selling price is the same. Hence, in this case, the, op the shopkeeper, he makes no profit, no loss. Thus, the shopkeeper gets 0% on the decided, prof decided price. That is no profit, no loss. Thank you. That's it for this video. In our next video, we will study commission.